So if I understand your question correctly, what you really want to know is why we have absolute values, what are, what are absolute values good for? And I think it's a perfectly valid question. Um, certainly, uh, absolute values seem a little silly. I mean, once you get used to using absolute values, you really look at them as just whatever's inside is positive. I mean, for instance, if we have the absolute value of 2, that's 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is also 2. So really, all the absolute value does is make whatever is inside the absolute value brackets positive. But the reason we have absolute values is because sometimes in math, all we really care about is the distance between two things. We don't care about whether they're negative or positive. Um, imagine, if you will, a, uh, a skyscraper, a big old apartment building. And please don't laugh at my artistry or lack thereof. I am nobody's idea of an artist. But suppose we have this, this sort of big, tall skyscraper building here. Um, and in this building, there's an elevator. Yeah? Looks like a door. <laughs> there, now it looks like an elevator. How's that? <laughs> and the skyscraper actually built over a parking garage. So in the parking garage, we have three levels below ground. One, two, three. Yeah? So we have sort of level zero, which is right here, which is ground level. Yeah? So this is level zero. And then we have floor one, floor two, floor three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, eight-story skyscraper. Yeah, well, call me parochial. And then uh, underneath the ground, we have sort of basement level, which is sort of level negative one, and then we have level negative two and level negative three. Yeah. So our skyscraper has all these different floors. Some of them are below ground. If all we wanted to know was how far you would travel going from floor negative three, so going from the bottom of the parking garage up to, say, the fifth floor, then all we really need to know is the difference between negative 3 and 5, how far apart they are. But here you can't just say 5 minus 3 and get 2. That won't work, because 5 minus 3 is 2. Obviously, those two things are not two floors apart. They're a lot more than two floors apart. What we really need to know is how far do we go to get to 0. So if we start at the fifth floor and go down to 0, we're going to go down five floors but then we're going to go down three more. So what we really want is the absolute value. We don't want to know that we have negative floors. This doesn't make any sense to have negative floors that we're traveling. The distance can't be negative. We can't have a, a negative eight floor distance. We have just a distance of eight floors between the negative third floor and the fifth floor. So we would, in this case, we would express that as the absolute value of five minus negative three. So the difference between 5 and negative 3, we don't care whether it comes out positive or negative. We don't care. We don't want to know about this distance, whether we're going down or up. doesn't matter to us. What matters to us is how many floors there actually are in between. And technically, the definition of an absolute value is how far a number is from 0 on a number line. So really, as our examples up here were, if we had negative 2 and we had positive 2, either one of those is two hops from 0. So it's two steps from zero, which is why the absolute value of each of those is the same thing. So that's why we want absolute values available, is so we can just tell the difference between two things without having to worry about whether that difference is positive or negative.